So whether a sound goes beyond being pleasing to the ear, mind, intellect, does it penetrate the deep heart's core, right? the soul? Does it touch the soul plane or not? So in the sixth canto of Bhagavatam, we hear the expression, Vaikuntha Nama Grahanam, spiritual sound. Does it have the quality, the characteristic of spiritual sound? And again, as we mentioned in these examples, the same sound can be there from an external point of view, but whether it qualifies as spiritual or not is an internal subjective consideration. It's not that spiritual sound sounds a particular way externally. Even here, we know in this world, like uh, if you call somebody's name, or you say something affectionate to someone, right? a man to a woman, let's say, the woman can say, say it with feeling, like you mean it. Or is it just an empty expression? The words can be the same. Mother with the child, lovers, they have this understanding of when words are meaningful and heartfelt and when they're superficial and shallow. Same words. Or actors. An actor can go uh, in front of a camera and make everyone cry by expressing certain words, certain emotions. But whether it's real or not is another consideration. So if we're going to really understand what is spiritual substance, then we'll have to uh, carefully study that under the guidance of experts, like anything. So Rupa Goswami, the expert on Krishna Bhakti, says, beware of two things. One is imitation, and the other is acting. One can imitate uh, the symptoms of devotion, and another person can act like they have that thing. Seeing in both cases, there's no real substance there. So when we say, well, how do those experts determine whether a work of art is a masterwork or done by the original? They have to uh, be serious about it and engage in a fair amount of study to become acquainted with that level of understanding, to judge whether something is substantial or an imitation. So the same thing spiritually. But uh, the Manu Sangita gives some encouragement by saying, Hridayena Binu Gato Yo Dharmas Nibodhata that the heart will at last verify or recognize what is its own. We may say, well, admittedly, I don't have that expertise to make these judgments. Well, then come in connection with those who do. Vidyabhi, sevita shadbi, nityam advesha ragibhi, hridayena vinugato yodharmastha nibodhata. This is, come in connection with those experts, who can accurately, properly represent spiritual substance, and hearing from them, what will be the last means of verification? Is that the heart, the heart will recognize its own. It will recognize, it will sympathetically resonate and vibrate to what is being expressed by the spiritual experts of revealed truth. Hare Krishna.